What's going on guys? This is Mateo with Tech Vitamins and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the iPad. Um, the new iPad by the way, the iPad 3, the third generation, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've been waiting for this for a while now, pretty much since I purchased the iPad and it's finally here. I'm a few days late on the video so my apologies for that. But nevertheless, if you need to um, see how to jailbreak your iPad, this is the video to watch. I'm going to go over a few things before you want to jailbreak this iPad. Um, make sure that you are updated to the 5.1.1 update. So as you see right here, my iPad was still at 5.1 because I was waiting for the jailbreak and thought I would have had to have the older version, but you could do it with 5.1.1. So let's go ahead and uh, download and update the iPad real quick and click continue. All right, so the whole process of the updating um, takes about six minutes or so to download the software, and then you know it's going to ask you to connect it to uh, your iTunes again. And you see that we have the progress bar on the iPad right now as it's updating to 5.1.1. And uh, I'm going to also fast forward this for you guys who don't have to sit here and watch this. But um, the next thing we're going to do is back up the iPad, and then we're ready to jailbreak. All right, so we're fully backed up now. If you can see right there, we're running version 5.1.1. So we're going to be good to go to uh, go ahead and jailbreak this thing. Um, also, what I'm going to do is right click on here and select back up the iPad. Now, the guys that created AppSynth, which is a program that's going to jailbreak this iPad, they recommend that then after you do your backup, that you also erase all the data for a faster. Uh, jailbreak but I don't have too much stuff on here to begin with and I just want to be 100% sure that I don't lose anything from either the iPad or the iTunes account so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Um, next we got the AppSynth zip file right here which is the program that's going to jailbreak it once again and I will post the link below where you can get this file but it comes as a zip file on Windows I'm going to right click extract files put it on my desktop right here and here we go so I'm gonna go ahead and open this and I'm gonna simply launch the program alright so with the, by clicking on the .exe file that extracted everything one more time into the actual folder called absinthe win uh, 2.0.4 I'm gonna click on that and here's the uh, exe file which is actually gonna jailbreak your iPad so as we see we have the iPad on um, it's connected to iTunes. Make sure your device is connected to your computer. Otherwise, this is not going to work. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on absent.exe. And you see it detected my iPad. And the reason you would know that is because the jailbreak button right there became available. It's now clickable. And I'm going to go ahead and click it and jailbreak my iPad. It's pretty much as easy as that. So I'll just watch a few more screens here to make sure you guys get, can get through this properly. There we go. You see the uh, iPad says restore in progress. And there we go, it's restarting your iPad, and when it's done, we should see the Cydia app in the market, and that's pretty much going to be it. You guys know where to take it from there. Now this is a good sign you see here, there was a progress bar of actually uh, jailbreaking the iPad. It's going to restart one more time. And don't unlock it just yet because as you see on the uh, computer screen, the jailbreak process is not 100% ready. So it's going to restart a few more times as you're doing this. And um, once it's completely ready on your computer screen and the progress bar is finished, that's when you'll be able to unlock your um, iPad and it's going to be jailbroken. Turn it back on, slot it, and here we go. Let's look for the uh, Cydia application. Here it is. Let me open it up real quick. And it's going to prepare the um, file system. And it's going to do what the Cydia does to make the whole market available for you to start messing around with the iPad, making it more, I would actually say, user friendly or more uh, sophisticated, as you want to say. But, anyways, 
this jailbreak works for the new iPhone 5.1.1 update, the new iPad and all the other update uh, iPads or iPhones running the latest um, iOS system. So thanks for watching. Um, and I have been gone for a little while for the last two months of building the studio. So for my for our viewers of Tech Vitamins TV channel, uh, please stay tuned for the next couple of videos from me of uh, showing you how the studio was built and dissecting all the audio equipment and all that good stuff. So thanks again for watching. Um, if you have any questions, you know what to do. Put them in the comments page. Try to get back to you as soon as possible. And again, all the links are in the descriptions. Have a good one, guys. Peace.